Thank you very much for the introduction. Um, just before I start, I'd like to thank my, uh, this is the work from my PhD student. Uh, she's in, um, unfortunately, she could not be here. Um, the aim of the study was to look at the effects of high, high intensity focal ultrasound on thyroid and immune system uh, in patients who undergo the ablation. So high, high intensity focal ultrasound HIFO is a non-invasive technique in the treatment of benign thyroid nodules. It causes a, a, a coagulant of chlorosis, physical uh, shrinkage for the nodule, and improves symptoms. However, we're very, very much interested in um, knowing how does this ablation affects the systemic immune function. Um, in the literature, there hasn't been any studies on it. If you look at the previous uh, um, studies on other tumors like uterine fibroids, you would see that the there is an overall stimulatory effect of uh, high ablation on benign, foreign, uh, on benign uh, tumors. So this is this was our, our hypothesis. So over um, over one year, we we basically treated uh, we recruited patients uh, who underwent a, a, a ablation of the benign fire nodule. Uh, we used a commercially available device uh, uh, by Friacion, and we took blood basically um, um, one hour before treatment uh, and uh, after and also after the nodule has been treated for 50% of the volume. Uh, we take another blood, and the, the third time was when it was completely ablated, and we took it again four days after the treatment. Um, the number, the, 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 really the blood markers we were really looking, up, looking for were the tumor necrosis factor, TNF, and interleukin-6. We also look at the thyroid function, including the serum TSH, the free T4. Also look at the thyroid goblin, the anti fire antibodies, and so on. And uh, this is what's done. Uh, altogether, we had 30 patients who underwent this, um, this study. Unfortunately, five patients um, didn't have some missing data in, in t some of the times, uh, time points. So we had 25 patients who were eligible for analysis. And these were the results. And essentially, for tumor necrosis factors, to our surprise, they actually didn't, it didn't affect very much uh, both during the treatment and also after four days after treatment. You can see the p-value was more than 0 0.05 as compared to a baseline. Uh, for interleukin-6, again, there wasn't much uh, difference in terms of the, uh, the level of interleukins from between the baseline and, and each of the time points. Um, for for more general uh, systemic uh, markers like ESR, again there was there wasn't much difference uh, bet uh, between the baseline and also four days after treatment. Uh, for C-reactive protein, again we didn't we didn't actually see any any marked difference between the uh, the baseline and the four days after treatment. The only difference we actually saw was only the far function. Uh, the TSH the TSH was actually suppressed, which is expected because as you uh, cause necrosis, you, you you tend to have a release of fire hormones, and that suppresses the TSH. This is what you expected, and also free T4 also high was high, um, four days after treatment. So the patients were likely hyperthyroid after treatment. Uh, the far goblin was markedly raised because you you causes the necrosis and protein release. Uh, to the circulation, and you get a rise in the fire goblin. So our conclusion is that in the early uh, post-ablation uh, post period, uh, high full ablation seems to have a more local effect on the nodule and the gland itself. It didn't have much of a, of a of systemic effect on the body immune system. So for perhaps future studies could focus on other potential uh, related cytokines markers um, in the treatment of uh, high full for high fire uh, gland. Thank you very much. Any questions? And what's the indication that you're doing these thyroid ablations for? Uh, for symptomatic uh, pa uh, patients who had uh, symptoms from the benign nodules, pressure symptoms. And, and clinically, are you getting good results uh, with the high food treatments? Yes, the majority of them have uh, improvement symptoms after about six months of the treatment. Do you find this treatment to be more uh, effective or easier to do than RF ablation or alcohol injection? Actually, it actually takes longer than very frequency ablation. Uh, alcohol ablation is really for cystic 
uh, nodules, uh, cystic, uh, cystic lesions. This is for solid nodules. Yes. I think that you have done also some malignant cases. No, we haven't done any malignant no. cases. No. But do you think that, do you foresee any, any uh, utility of your studies, immunological studies, on malignant cases, thyroid? Well, I think at least at the moment, um, it, it appears that it doesn't really affect the, the immune system. So, I mean, if you're talking about you know, uh, immunomodulation for metastatic thyroid cancer, probably this is not going to be very uh, useful. Okay. Well, thank you. Thank you, all the, all the audience, for this uh, very interesting session. Thank you, all the speakers. Thank you, the Society, for hosting us. And I think that our friends from uh, Bone are ready to take the, the floor, the panel, and everything. Thank you. <laughs>